hello guys next up is lion now this is a very very nasty support uh to play against with i absolutely hate playing against lion it is a hero that, not, that does not need absolutely anything except like a blink uh i just say really blink because all of this is like a really nice bonus lion uh as a lion running around with just basic uh puts and blink is horrible to deal with as it is and uh these are really some uh nice extras i'll be like discussing why i'm getting this but yeah uh if you're in doubt uh as, as to like what to play against uh, enemy picks there's always a couple of heroes like, include lion like shadow shaman stuff like that you can never go wrong just because of the sheer uh spell arsenal that they have there's hex there's stun there's a very high damage old single target that can become multi-target there's a uh if the game that goes that long there's a upgrade for hex to become aoe uh incredibly incredibly nasty hero to play against right so let's kind of uh see the items so tranquil boots is really the only item that makes sense uh there's mana drain meaning you can just steal mana from anybody you can also steal mana from any uh neutral mobs uh, in the jungle so it can be enemy heroes it can be the the ranged one uh, in the wave and it can also be any mana any neutrals with the mana pool right any jungle pack mob pack anywhere on the map but you can see it you can steal their mana so think about always think about always keep that in mind if there's no enemy waves you can get close for some reason uh you know just take a take a detour into the to the side and just leech from a yeah, from a neutral mob right jungle pack so Tranquil Boots uh, gives you health, regeneration, you, you're kind of safe with that. Uh, mana Drain gives you all the mana, you can stay on the lane, spam these. And uh, yeah, Alan is already, as you can see, completely uh, kind of done uh, with the trouble on the lane, right? You just kind of spam spells, you get mana back, get health back if you get hit. And uh, yeah, you're already enjoying your time, right? Now, one item that I do always get uh, of course except the blink is Netherlands, and uh depending on the game i might just get blink first usually i always get the uh, Netherlands because that's what you know works like it works for any case no matter what the situation is so it gives you nice uh cast range it gives you extra mana uh old can be kind of pricey 200 the first level gets 400 to 600 uh there may be trouble because lan is lan is like one of those spammy heroes you're gonna be spamming these a lot on the lane whether to harass or to, to protect your uh your carry so you know a lot of times it can happen that you just don't, don't have enough mana for this or you're like 150 160 180 even and you just can't cast it to get away uh you know also struggling with range it's one of those like one more of those heroes where you don't want to be in the fight but you still want to be close and, and hit enemies with spells uh Adderlands deals with all of that gives you mana gives you cast range works like arcane boots with the uh, extra addition of cast range right uh it's just it's gonna keeps you safe gives you a lot of uh, cast range uh gives you mana pool and uh, mana regeneration that, that's pretty much covers it all right so mana drain of your own uh cast range is just called cast range health regeneration um, you know, it's even more comfortable playing Lion now when you get this. And uh, yeah, the next one is Blink. You gotta have Blink with Lion. There's no, there's not not any better item for him. The whole the whole point with Lion right, right is just you can be able to just uh, Blink for anywhere, attack anybody. Uh, they can't react because they can't see you. This is instant cast. There's no channeling stuff. Ult can be kind of slower because ult kind of takes time. But um, it all depends kind of if you're close to them or not. But um, you know, just that's the lion. I, I can't really close uh, this distance be uh, and and them not being not being able to see me. They're always gonna see me. They're gonna know I'm coming, especially if they warded the map. Uh, the only way is to kind of bump into them immediately like this, and you know, do the do the whole disable stuff also uh when you're doing disables just don't stack them uh, you're gonna control your uh your self casting spells once you hex the guy follow the you know follow the the bar uh slowly decreasing and once he gets you know very close that's when you use your hex something like this now uh, a lot of people just kind of panically or not panically whatever it is it's gonna go like this and then immediately stun 
you, you have like a half uh, half a bar left so use that wisely the other guy might not have anything depending who's in your lane he might not be able to prolong the you know the, the disable on that guy so always always wait until uh, all of these expire if you can if you're not being pressured right uh, so yeah so blink is basically just uh that uh you know semi buy uh, semi buy for shadow shaman being able to just blink and hex and shackle uh line is completely the same uh crystal maiden is also the same uh not as deadly as, as those guys uh, especially as lion because lion can just you know if you're if you're half health blink on you hex you stun you just delete you with ult depending on what level of this is and how many kills you got uh your ult gets stronger every time you get a kill 40% uh, extra damage, so this can also grow to a, uh, to a big number. So, you know, uh, you just gonna have to have blink, and uh, that's pretty much it with Lion. You get some attack range, some you deal with your mana problems, and uh, blink dagger pretty much. That's uh, you know, the game at that point might even be over, you might even get this. Uh, again, your support, you're not really farming the waves, but if, you're, if your cores are uh you know busy doing something else or maybe they died or you know you gotta wait for yourself like and somewhat effectively farm it with earth spike uh he's not like somebody like ancient apparition where it's all single stuff right so there's that but um yeah uh the, the way the games go if you have like other lands uh boots and blink the game might be over just even before you get this right but if the game goes further get something like glamour cape uh four staff is also nice but i'm kind of playing blink uh lion is one of those heroes again that have a big mobility problem like like a bunch of support heroes there's no leaps there's no jumps there's no movement uh speed increase you have, you have nothing here that kind of gives you all of that and uh, again uh you can't be just right click move somewhere you gotta fly across the map disable people destroy people uh four staff is nice addition to all of that that's great so you can blink if uh Blink gets cancelled because they hit you, Blink goes to cooldown, there's always 4 step, so you can push yourself out or help anybody, but um, if you have Blink, it's much smarter to just invest into something like Labor Cape, pretty much. Uh, invisibility effect is much nicer and it also helps a lot more uh, for your allies, right? Uh, they will have to carry dust, they will, the place will have to be varded. And uh, even if they use dust, it's still 50% magic resistance. They can tank a lot of spell damage. You can tank a lot of spell damage. Also, as you can say, you can cast it. Uh, you can cast it offensively. Uh, if this is anybody that's going to jump in the fight. And they kind of know they're going to be hit by a lot of spells. I can just pre-cast on them. And they just jump in the fight. Let's say there's a blink here or something. He has a... Uh, you know, it's not a whole bunch of time, but a pretty decent amount of time if he gets hit by spells to get a great reduction, right? You can also use Limber Cave for that. So, that's with those. Uh, like I said, 4 staff, not really needed. You can get it, you can completely uh, ignore it. At, at this point, I kind of feel I have everything I need, really. Uh, you know, I've dealt with mana, there's Tranquil Boots, there's Blink, so I can get away. Glimmer Cape, uh, really... I would probably just get something like Aeon Disc that just kind of makes me that much more annoying to kill, you know, on top of all of this. Aeon Disc, as usual, gives you nice uh, stat boost. You still need mana with line, right? And health, of course, but, um, you know, it kind of gives you those couple of seconds where you can decide uh, when they jump you. Uh, are you gonna, you know, cast something? You can always cast stun and disable them, hex somebody, or just, you know, press the ult if, uh, even if they're full health, maybe your team is gonna jump in and then finish them off. So, you know, 2.5 extra seconds can be really, really a lot of time to quickly do something, you know, get away, hide yourself, uh, push yourself out with, with, uh, with four staff, a lot of options, right? So, it, uh, if the game is still going, right, the game is still going, that's a lot of money for line. Uh, yeah, probably something like Aeon Disc, and uh, there's always Scepter, right, for those uh, right-click heroes like Ursa. I can just kind of jump on you, place blink, and kill you easily. One shot you with uh, overpower, and of course he's playing blacking, uh, blacking bar. So, ghost scepter is always an option with lion. It goes especially well if you upgrade into ethereal, uh, because being able to just ethereal somebody and then ult them, uh, 
30% extra damage plus the damage on hit. Uh, it's a one way to easily, you know, just delete any hero that's not a, like a really buffed off laner, let's say anybody else supports, carries. Uh, really, really easy to deal with, but then again, costs money, you need some other stuff before that. Uh, you really do need blink, you kind of do, really do need other lands and uh, boots, so you can kind of pick and choose uh, after these, I would say, if you know, go Glimmer Cape, or this or this. But I'm still uh, still the best way would be to go Glimmer Cape into Aeon Disc, into really whatever you need, right? Uh, I forgot to put the Scepter uh, scepter in. So, yeah, and, and also, you know, your Scepter Divinity uh, cancel any uh, channeling spell, you know, if you get silenced, if your stun is flying towards you, like from Sven or Chaos Knight. Uh, you always, always, you will, uh, always will have use for something, uh, whether it's offensively, defensively. That's just there. Uh, but I want to talk about the, the Scepter. Scepter making your ult, uh, ult AoE. So, uh, I just see a lot of people always rushing this for some reason. It's not uh, It's not good to do that at all. Uh, the only way this gets real, real uh, value is if there's somebody that kind of strictly likes creating multiple uh, illusions. If there's Cast Knight, and because Chaos Knight also likes playing Manta, but just for his ult. There's Siren uh, that plays Manta and has the Illusions. There's Terror Blade. Uh, stuff like that where it becomes Phantom Lancer, right? It's huge. It can be huge for Phantom Lancer. But that, those are the only heroes where I kind of uh, see this justified because last level is uh, last level of damage, level 3, right? Is 950. Actually, that's with Scepter. It's 850. So 850 to 950 is not a uh, it, it's not it's not that big of a upgrade. However, it is yeah. Uh, the the one effect that you really hunt it's not even cooldown. Cooldown is 40 seconds with scepter is 20 seconds I believe. Yeah, uh, 40 seconds is low enough. You do not need 20. You're basically hunting only one ability and that's uh, being able to do AOE on your own. Now. It can always happen that your team is great at controlling and then they got something like uh like tides exactly that can just kind of jump their ult and keep them condensed maybe somebody like magnus maybe somebody like enigma uh where it justify justifies this in that way or like i said many illusions to play against but um usually you can't even get value in those cases it's kind of hard uh you're really easy to kill as you can see uh once they kind of jump me, I do not have that many options to kind of stop them from killing me. If they want to kill me, they can kill me. And it usually happens with uh, like a, the solo type of heroes. Uh, somebody's always going to jump you. One or two heroes, you're not going to be playing against uh, enemy team where there's like five of them, you know, and they stay and be like, okay, line, you can cast ult on us. It's going to be a lot of movement. Uh, it's going to be a lot of disables on you or silences or uh, your scepters or Aeon Disc, it's, it's gonna be always something against you that just gotta prevent you from getting that uh, value that you imagined that can happen with this, you know. Uh, this is great on paper, but in, in like real real games, it is not that, uh, not that really reliable to get this at all. It's a huge amount of money as well uh, that you need to farm and you're playing post five, so you know it's 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 kind of crazy uh the things that kind of have to align to get a true value and justify this when there's a bunch of items uh that just work so much better whatever they are really you know uh so yeah like in those games i said if your team is really struggling you feel like there's the only way to kind of help your team is getting this uh, there's a nasty phantom lancer just destroying everybody and uh there's no aoe spells in your team uh nobody made battle of fury so there's just no ways to clear the illusions. There's nothing. Maybe you know you gotta go crazy and get this and just pray that once Lancer gets in the fight, the so Lancer creates all of illusions. You can quickly burn them off, and then you can quickly see which one is the right one, and then your team immediately jumps on them. And again, you can see how much it takes. Uh, how many ifs there is? If Phantom Lancer doesn't attack, you really burn all your mana. If Nobody hacks you, if nobody stuns you, if nobody jumps you with blink and press blacking and just don't care. You know, they destroy you immediately on that spot. You're, you're still plus 5 support, this is great, but... If they want to kill you, they want to kill you before the fight starts, you know, if they know what they're doing. So, 
just gonna keep that in mind uh damage is not that great that you get for free cooldown is not that amazing anyways 40 seconds to 20 seconds it's not something like it was 100 seconds and now it's like 20 seconds it's not that reduction very it's like okay line is crazy now he's still very good uh, with just the, the basic one right uh so yeah that would be that and uh there's also shard shard is kind of your own uh, personal blacking bar where you can kind of cast uh, uh there's also two more targets for your mana leech but it pretty much the the, the main point is uh, you can be hit with spells of course a lot of factors there are they gonna stay are they gonna move out immediately are they gonna just rush you because this is a channeling spell if you want to cast anything you have to stop um again uh shard is you know 50 50 whether it's that good or not really there's a bunch of other items that i would go for uh take 15 1400 invest into anything uh, else like this stuff and uh, you know that that probably it uh, be with the line uh, if I get that much money, if you get that much money, you can bump the, the Netherlands into core, but that's kind of rare. Uh, like I said, the game I just end with a couple of items. Uh, you kind of need this. Getting into core may be really difficult, but core is, for example, another way to uh, reduce the, the cooldown. It goes 30 seconds. It's like a mid ground, right? Uh, normal one is 40. Uh, Octarine core is 30, with the scepter is 20. So it's like a mid ground. But um, again, Octarine core reduces everything. Uh, all of the items cooldowns and the spell cooldowns so you know it's kind of everything is kind of better than this uh, in my opinion so yeah uh, i've seen people play lion mid uh where they would kind of play lion mid and then just go boots into scepter go on the lane immediately fry everybody uh i don't know about that though i've seen it happen i've seen it happen successfully actually a couple of times uh, but I just play a lot as support, so as a post 5 lion with all of this and this, uh, it's kind of hard to, to get into Scepter if you want to play correctly, you know. So that's that's it with the lion. Let's just see the, the talent tree uh, because we're done with this. Now, I just, I hear I just take movement speed, honestly. I do not take damage. Uh, lion. Again, you're not gonna be you're not gonna be able to just stand there and auto attack like this. And uh, even if you are, just, just just look at my attack speed and everything. I'm like six slots. Uh, the stuff is just not there anyways, right? Uh, I usually just take movement speed. You kind of blink in, uh, hex, stun, cast ult, and usually at that point you either run back so that they don't kill you and you wait for your cooldowns or enemy runs back and you keep chasing uh, there's never really a time where they kind of just stay in the place forever and you're just kind of staying there and uh, hitting them with auto attacks uh what you actually want to do is uh slow them down with uh with the mana drain because mana drain is slow that's kind of the best way to play line it's not it's not to uh right click it's better to just leech their man and keep them slowed uh, the more you keep them slow, the more your team can do damage to them if they're trying to flee. And also just another reason why I would take uh, the moment speed. Because there's so much more benefits uh, casting this instead of trying to right click. Right. Uh, second one, uh, second one you can actually choose. This reduces stun. Uh, this uh, gives you more health every time you get a kill with finger of death again that depends on the game if there's nice targets with like low health or uh, your team can also burst them and you can kind of show up and get a kill with this uh getting a getting couple of uh hits here can increase your health by a lot uh so it kind of depends you know whether you feel like you can get finger of that uh in a way where it counts as a kill and not something like okay i'm dying i just have to cast it or full health uh, and then you die and you never get a a buff really it can be really difficult at times so kind of decide on that uh third one i just get the finger of death damage this one is kind of pretty useless i'll be honest uh on, on its highest level 20 where the game might even be over this is a pretty pretty useless one uh manage and restore allies you don't care it's not like uh you can uh help drain and heal them so this is whatever I guess in some rare cases uh, they might be missing some mana for something, but that's kind of not really how it goes, right? 
So I just take the right one. And the last one is obviously AoE Hex. Uh, there's nothing better than that. You just kind of do it. So, uh, wait, did I take it? Uh, didn't I level to the max? Oh, level up max. So, AoE Hex is, again, one of the best things you can get in the game. Uh, what's better than Sinatra Hex? It's AoE Hex, right? Like, uh, uh, Dazzle's, Dazzle's Shard, where he casts the poison and hexes everybody in the way. So, uh, the circle is pretty decent. It's not even a small one. So, even if they're like this, I can still get, uh, I'm maybe probably like this. No, I can't catch the last one. Yeah. I mean, still, I, I, I just gotta push him a bit more inside. No, still don't wanna hex it. No, not that's mine, actually. What am I doing? <laughs> I tried to hex my own. But yeah, that's kind of how it uh, how it goes with the last one. Rarely the games will go that long, though, so you get to level 25. Uh, mostly in lower ranks, game, game, games go that long. Yeah, now it works. I was trying to hex, I was trying to hex my own tight uh, for some reason. So yeah, uh, the range is pretty. The range is pretty good actually. Yeah. So always get that. Nothing to do really with earth, sp uh, earth spike range. I mean that's great. You can kind of you know stun people from the base <laughs> with the, with the, with the stun, but. You cannot beat the uh, AoE Hex, right? So, that will be the Lion. Uh, don't, don't try to Hex your own teammates. It doesn't work, obviously. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, on the next one.